Hello and welcome to another video on Learn SQL. And in today's video, we are going to learn the window function. The window functions basically. So, what does these window functions does? The window function try to give us the you know aggregation without even using the group by. So, what would happen? We will use some like over party and inside over we can use partition by order by. And what would happen from the result which has already been brought in from there? They can do the uh, you know aggregation and that aggregation we can use now to do to use these functions first of all we need to um, understand the requirement like we can get percentage of total percentage of subtotal with us like when we do simply say sum over let's say some function we have min function we have max function aggregate and count function so I need let's say grand total so I can say some let's say sales quantity and then over it will give me grand total similarly I can get subtotals you see example by partitioning by I can have now similarly if you need rank dense rank row number lag lead first value last value you can also use you know um, these window function a window function acts on the result which is already been bought out so like uh, if you have not aggregated something and you want to aggregate and you want to group by at the same time you might want to do some over then might things might not work i'll explain you with an example so what we wanted to do is we wanted to beyond the boundary of our current data we wanted to give, get some additional results so let's see how to use these functions so let's jump onto the sql server and in the sql server i have already started my sql server and i'm using sql server management studio here in the sql server management studio i'm going to write down the new queries now here let me give you one example but you know this function sum over can do for us so uh, let me say select star from sales okay so i got sales now here i want the grand total of quantity let's say so i can simply write down comma sum of now if i simply write down sum of i need a group by but look at this sum of quantity over Sum of quantity over. Now I'm getting the grand total of the quantity. 49913 is my quantity. If if I I can tell you uh, now if I need to get otherwise, what I need to do, I don't need this, I don't need over, I can get it. So what is the benefit from my result which has already come out? I can get it. Now can I get it along with the group buys in the same query? So let's bring in another query. So here what I'm going to do is select uh if you remember uh, we have a city id with the city id i want the sum of query so i will also have group by city id so i need one sum which is over which is basically gt and i simply need one sum which is basically sum of quantity isn't it so we call it sqty which is sum of quantity comma sum over quantity over gt and group by this one okay so it is saying a uh, sales quantity invalid select list because it contains either contains aggregate. So let's remove this one. Can can it work without this one as quantity? Okay, so it is working. Now if I simply let's try to change it over. It doesn't work. So what we have to do now? So this is the result set. Now let's let me correct this. Now this is the result set I got. I can put it into a from class subquery. Select star comma sum of qty over from. Now I don't have quantity. I what I have as quantity coming from the inner query from class subquery. We have to build build in from. Now right now we don't have from class subquery. So let's build in the from class subquery. Let's put it here inside the parenthesis and give it as a name what's the name let's give a1 now i got city level sum city level sum as well as the grand total so i can calculate my percentage of grand total so let's get percentage of grand total for city wise or state wise data for gross we don't need quantity so we need gross so what we are going to do changes to change here is first of all i need city name 
so what i need to do i need to do in a, i need to let me give an alias here s in the from class subquery i am doing all this inner join geography on s dot city id equals to g dot we don't have a g here first let's give a alias to geography also g g dot city id now we got a city id from g we also got a city from g g dot city so we got g dot city here we got g dot city here both we got now outside when we go right now we are not checking because we are not doing but we can what we can do is city comma as quantity now we know this is going to give us gt so let's call this gt and we are going to say as quantity we have not pasted as quantity correctly here as quantity divide by again let's take this one let me put this into parenthesis and let me call it p gt percentage of grand total fine now all this is coming from a so we got city as quantity grand total and gr grand total and grand total percentage of total of the city level okay we have done something wrong here it is saying converting it for the conversion let's see is it coming correct first of all hmm here itself there is a problem okay this is the join problem we are not joining with the city id okay so sometime when error occurs we have to check it out okay now this is correct now let's do this why percentage is coming all zero let's multiply it by 100 also and see now to multiply 100 let's put the entire number into a parenthesis divide and multiply typically will not create a problem because of the order now we are not getting any number here so is it so because the division is happening integer division i need to make it as a now this is database problem some of you are from bi tool will not understand this what is this i am dividing it is giving by zero because it is doing integer division and to overcome that we say multiplied by 1.0 so we convert this integer into a float or double and then we do another division now we are getting the percentage so now you can see this is basically we have 100 cities so number is going to be really small around 1122 percentage now i can do another thing is basically uh, here uh, this is right now we are bringing in as quantity now let's we want to bring gross here so let's say quantity multiply by price which is going to give us gross isn't it and we don't have to do anything here we can simply call it gross or let's leave it here but let's make it percentage of now you see the bigger numbers and let's order by order by what order by sqty by we want to see the top city we don't have sqty by here we have a we have s quantity isn't it but not here we have s quantity here so we got the s quantity sort by s quantity so and this is right now ascending order desc to get descending order and let's see we also would like to see how these things are happening for state level so let me copy paste this query and let me i want to run this for state level now state level what i need is here i need state i simply want state level now i don't want city level and state level both together that is also which we are going to do now now what i have done here is basically i got state level data and again the grand total this is the same grand total which we get now we know california contributes 16% thank sas contributes 12% arizona contributes 6% florida contributes 5% approx okay so this is the contribution coming from different state now comes the next thing can we know what is the minimum a uh, minimum of the cities across state 
or can we do percentage of total now we got some we can also get min max okay after doing this sum over i want to know min i can get the min okay i can let's say i want to divide it by min and i want to show how great you are from min okay so what would happen what is my maximum how are you how are, right now we are talking about gt but we may also say that you know how are you doing against the max quantity isn't it how are you doing against the maximum quantity of a state isn't it is something wrong we did not selected so against max this is going to be 100% and rest are percentage of max now how are you doing against minimum so i'll say minimum now this is so such a big percentage the last one would be the 100% how are you doing against the average the average overall average against which how are you doing how much above your average below your average or how much percentage of average you are you would like to create an average by dividing by count isn't it so you can say okay i want to divide it by count overall count of state now this is state level average this is not this is not going to be a average of all the values this is going to be state level average because after doing the sum at the state we are taking an count and then dividing so it's going to be the count of the states and i'm going to divide it by then it's going to be the average of the states this is by average okay now this is not average of all the states this is just an you are dividing the s quantity by average actually to get the average of the state what you need to also need to do is basically you also need grand total here so here also you need sum of quantity over sum of s quantity over this one so this is going to give me some grand total and then that is going to give me count and then i divide and then i'll get the same average so now you got the single average okay so now you know how to use sum min max count count distance now i have one more wish i want percentage means city state level if you remember uh, we have city also we have state also so let's bring in this query first of all now we have a state let's say g dot city also i want comma g dot city press shift tab i got this let me say order by one is going to give me all the typically the states together what i want here is this gross state level i want to know so for this state it would be 100% one city for this state some percentage of total should come differently so i know this inner query i need to use so simply we go here and we put this as query and then we'll put a tab and then we put it inside the parenthesis so and then we can start our query writing down we'll making this as from close sub query and let's call it as a1 now we write down a statement select star whatever we have let's bring in that from what additional we know so first percentage of subtotal what i need i need to divide as quantity okay but when i divide as quantity i need let's get a parenthesis to bring everything sum of s q t by but when i do sum of s q t by it's not going to give me anything additional because the same row is going to sum it up so i say over but over is going to give me grand total isn't it percentage of sub total so what i need to do now i need to use partition by partition by partition by what i say you partition by state so what i need is i need the state level so total so i'm asking him please give me state level total so now i also would like to see the state level total isn't it so let's also get this as a separate row separate column so let's say 
एस टी सब टोटल और स्टेट टोटल जी बोथ फॉलिंग इन द सेम प्लेस लेट्स रन दिस क्वेरी सो नाउ दिस इज सेम हंड्रेड परसेंट नाउ वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड ओके सो लेट्स डू वन मोर पैरेंथिस स्टार हंड्रेड नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द डेटा so now this is 100% one city is only there now you can see this is now here in arizona you see 8% 18% 9% 17% 17% 17%. okay is it summing up to 100% now we have another 17% now what's happening right now our sorting and then in california you see now we need to check this out so we i clicked here in, in this one I say copy. I go to an Excel sheet and I say, "Oh, boss, I need to calculate and check it out." Now let's see here. This is one. This is the one. Now, is Arizona coming hundred percent? Yes. Is California coming hundred percent? Yes. Is California total correct? So keep eye on these numbers and these numbers. Okay. When I say summed up, I kept it. Ninety four percent. One is missing still. Hundred percent. Okay. So our numbers are correct. We went back to the Excel sheet and calculated. Now there are more opportunities with window function. We have to continue to explore where we need to use rank, row number. There are more things which we are going to attack. Now you want top three cities inside each state. Here it can help. Then you want the ranking. with the help of ranking we can get top rank top fifth rank i need so all those things also we will try to get by learning more about windowing function then we will also get to know what is lead lag previous row next row all those things we will also go and then try so try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you. keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you